across the border into Idaho. Now the girls 5A mm -hmm. state semis Coeur d'Alene trying to win its fourth straight state title. They played Highland the semis tonight down in Nampa. Vikings took the early lead. Kaylin Orlandi slashes through the lane and gets the bucket. CDA up by a deuce. Now Highland down four. Dakota Gonzalez had a game. The basket plus the foul. She had 18 in this one, but the Vikings had way too much. Kendallin Brainerd, a team high 12 points on the night. Vikings cruise back into the finals 56 to 36. All right, so the Vikes face the winner of undefeated Centennial and Lewiston in the state title game tomorrow. The Bengals led for most of this one, but Sharice Porsche hits from distance that puts Centennial up 45-42. Back comes Lewiston. Chelsea Walters, one of four Bengals and double figures. Good gals up four. Then with under a minute left, future GU volleyball player Savannah Blinn oh. says, get out of here. It's a state championship rematch as the Bengals win it 58 to 53. The 4A tourney, Moscow keeps its season alive with a one point win over Mountain Home in OT. In 3A action, Timberlake advances to the title game with a 12 point win over Snake River. The White Tigers will play Sugar Salem tomorrow. Priest River beat Weiser by a point. Spartans play Fruitland for third. 2A action, both Kamii and Grangeville won their semifinal game, so they'll face each other tomorrow with the state championship on the line. And finally, 1A D2, Clark Fork season comes to an end with an 11 point loss to Garden Valley. All right, 5A Boys Regional defending state champs Post Falls hosting Lewiston. The Trojans started fast. Connor Hill, the blow by the bucket. PF led 4-0, but the Bengals could not miss from three. Check this out, Derek. Brandon Fuentes not only goes off glass, but gets the roll. <laughs> Lewiston up two. The lead would grow. Check out Matt Kaubfleisch. Goes spin cycle, then lay in. He had 25. The Bengals wow. would lead it by 10. Hill was the offense for the Trojans. The nice move in the make for two of his 21, but the Bengals pull off the upset, 72 to 64. Coeur d'Alene and Lake City, the early game. The Vikings had a double digit second half lead, but Andy Mitchell will find nylon from distance. T-Wolves only down six. However, they would get no closer. Andrew Barocco, check out the hair, love it. Check out the drive and the hoop, even better. It's a nine point game. The Barocco is gonna block the three. Great effort right here. Jake Matheson lays it in on the other end for two of his 22. The Vikes beat their rivals 66 to 52.